Now that we know what autofocus modes do, we can now dive into how to manipulate the autofocus or AF points you see through the viewfinder. You need to master controlling these to get the best possible images. Learning how to selectively change autofocus points quickly will separate you and your images from everyday photographers. The good news is that it's easy and becomes intuitive with a little bit of practice. When you look through your camera's viewfinder, you see a set of squares that look like they're orbiting around a square in the middle. These are the autofocus points. The 10D has seven autofocus points. The 30D has nine autofocus points. The T2I has nine autofocus points also. And finally, the 7D has 19 autofocus points that can be controlled individually or in groups. We'll learn how to control the autofocus points using the simplest camera that we have, the 10D. In order for you to select the autofocus points, you have to press the AF Point Selector button, which is in the top right hand side of the back of the camera. The AF point selector on the 10D is the same on all prosumer models and professional models. It's always in the upper right. The AF point selector button is the same on the 30D and the 7D. So this is what you'll see after you press the AF point button. The camera remembers what points you've previously selected. So in this case, if you had previously selected all of the autofocus points to be active, that's what would show. You select the autofocus points by rotating the quick dial or the main dial. If you rotate the quick dial, the vertical points will change. When we rotate the quick dial clockwise, the top point will be active. Rotate the quick dial again and the middle point will be active. Rotate it again and the bottom point will be active. It'll just cycle through this as long as you rotate the button. And as you rotate, it'll go from top to bottom, then at the end, select all of the points again. Just stop rotating the dial when the point you want is selected, and that's it. In order to select the horizontal autofocus points, we have to use the main dial. So let's start out assuming that all of the autofocus points were selected. As we rotate the main dial, the points will be selected horizontally from left to right. And as you complete rotation on the main dial, all the points will be active unless you start rotating again. Now we'll move on to the 30D. The 30D has nine autofocus points and you control them a little bit differently. Again, we'll start out assuming that all of the autofocus points were previously selected. On the 30D, we can use the main dial or the quick dial to orbit around and select the points around the center just stop on the autofocus point you want and that'll be the one selected. And like the 10D and all the other cameras, if you wind up having them all selected, they'll all be active. The T2i has nine autofocus points and works exactly the same as the 30D. We make a really, really big leap in control using the 7D. The 7D has 19 autofocus points and they can be selected in groups or individually. The first and most automated mode is the Auto Select 19 point AF. All of the 19 autofocus points are used and the camera makes all the decisions when focusing. The next mode is Zone Autofocus. You select banks of autofocus points for focusing. And lastly we have the familiar single autofocus point selection. There's an extra button we have to press in order to cycle through and activate these modes. That's the MFN function button on top or manual function button. So let's see how this works. So here's where we change the focusing mode on the 7D. You press the quick button then use the multi-controller to select autofocus points. Sometimes the multi-controller can be just a little awkward to use. You then press the set button to get to the menu. Now you press the MFN button on top of the camera to cycle through the selections. 
This is a 19 point auto select. If you want it, press the set button. This is a zone select. You rotate the quick dial to select the bank of autofocus points you want to use. This is really useful for sports action photos. Next we come to the single point selection. Here we use the quick dial and the main dial just like we did on the 10D. The quick dial selects the vertical points and the main dial selects the horizontal points. All the cameras autofocus really well, but out of the whole pile, the 7D has the most sophisticated autofocus point control system.